Hello and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching this video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I am reading from Acts chapter 22 verse 6 which says as I was on the road approaching Damascus about noon a brilliant heavenly light suddenly appeared flashing all around me. Paul has returned to Jerusalem and just as the Holy Spirit told him he was arrested. This gave Paul an opportunity to testify to tell everyone there what happened to him. He reminded everyone what he did, how he killed some of the believers. He reminded them how it was his plan to go to Damascus to have those who believed in Jesus arrested and brought back to Jerusalem. Paul told them how he was blinded and heard Jesus speak to him and told him what Jesus' plan was for him. Paul was taken to Damascus. He was healed of his blindness. Paul was told how he would be God's witness to every race of people. All he had to do is get up, be baptized and washed and wash away his sins by calling on the name of Jesus. From that moment on, Paul was changed. Instead of persecuting believers, he encouraged them. He taught the gospel to Jews, non-Jews, Gentiles, and Greeks. Paul went from a man killing believers to a man willing to die for the name of Jesus. Paul still has an impact on people today from the Word of God. Let Paul's life be an example to us. Be willing to be persecuted and die for the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, I pray, just like Paul, we all have a past that is not good. But you, Lord, have saved us. Your light has shined on us, revealed to us who we are and who you are. That as we call upon the name of Jesus, believing that he is the Son of God, ask for forgiveness, confessing our sins, you have saved us. And just as Paul, we are to go into all the world and preach the gospel, preach the name of Jesus, what he has done for us, what he can do for you, how he can change us of a, from a life of sin to a life that is new and sinless. All we need to do is ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins and we will be cleansed. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you this opportunity right now to pray with me the prayer of salvation. If you believe that Jesus is God, that he died for you on the cross for your sins, you can confess your sins and ask for forgiveness. Just repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us 
is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on a cross for me. I believe you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, you prayed that prayer. I want to, to encourage you not just to, to stop at accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but to follow Him. Pray daily and read the Word of God. In the Word of God, it teaches us how to live the life we are to live, pure, holy, and sinless.